everything written in the Bible is written as a doctrinal material. That's why all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. Scriptures are for doctrine. What was written at for time was for doctrine, for learning. Ephesians 4.14 that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine this is not doctrine this is a wind there is doctrine and there is a wind of doctrine colossians 2 22 with all are to perish with the using after the commandments and doctrines of men so there are doctrines of men philosophies and psychologies of men preach as gospel which are not gospel what are doctrines of men when you hear abanje spirit mami water spirit they are doctrines of men because there is no such spirit in the bible there's nothing like abanje there's nothing like mami water even in native bible it does not exist there's no such thing in the bible it's a doctrine of men it's men that concocted it and used it to keep men under fear and they will tell this a bunch of spirit that is worrying you if you eat in the dream why won't i eat in the dream why won't i eat in the dream what is wrong with you am i on suspension i eat physically and i eat spiritually and i eat in the dream and if you bring it you must balance the food if you don't balance it i will not wake up from that dream till the food is balanced thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy when you see table what do you do to the table you eat on that table eat your food my friend for the rest of your life you will never beg for bread if your amen is louder you will eat with 35 fingers But a doctrine of men will tell you if you didn't in the dream, you need deliverance. So people even tell you if you have sex in the dream, you need deliverance. Who said so? If you have sex in the dreams, because your mind has been polluted, you need to renew your mind. You have introduced programs of sexual activity in your mind by watching video, by watching pornography, by reading magazines of naked people, by watching videos on the internet that are seductive. It has glued your mind. So when you sleep, it plays out in your subconscious. It doesn't mean you are possessed. It means your, your brain has been defiled by things you watch. So what do you do? You wash your brain by the washing of water by the world. Don't let anybody bewitch and hoodwink you. Don't let anybody make you a prisoner when you are not in prison. If you are struggling with a dream you don't like, take the word of God and rechange your thinking. It's in your mind. It's in your mind. That's why you do. you do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed. What? By the renewing of your mind. You renew your mind, my friend. How do you renew your mind? You take the word of God and put it in your mind and begin to think about it. Once the thing still come, it will still come. You will still be fighting with it. But if you continue in the word of God, the word will grow mightily and prevail. You don't need any hundred days deliverance. You don't even need fasting. You don't need fasting. Some of you have fasted till you have stomach ulcer. That's not God. You just renew your mind. Cast down imagination. How do you cast down imagination? When they start coming up, you start talking about something else. The moment you start talking, you stop thinking. Once thoughts are disturbing, you start talking. You, you can't be talking and thinking at the same time. That's why when I'm preaching, you don't talk, you listen. Because as I'm talking, you're thinking. If I'm talking and you're talking, you won't hear me. How do I stop thoughts? By talk. I talk to stop thoughts. So when you lie down and your, your mind is going crazy and you're seeing all kinds of images and you're imagining all kinds of things that you don't like, instead of saying, oh Jesus, deliver me, deliver yourself. Sit up and say, it is written. Being born of God, born of the incorruptible seed, Kiba Dagabaya, if any man be in Christ, when you start talking like that, all those crazy things will stop. Listen, let me tell you, it is also doctrine of men to tell you that every time you want to pray, shout blood of Jesus five times before you pray. So every time I want to pray, blood of Jesus one, blood of Jesus two, blood of Jesus three, blood of Jesus four, blood of Jesus five. Now clap your hands, shake your head and pray. Thank you, Father. That is not God. That is a doctrine of men. No scripture say you clap and shake your head when you want to pray. 
Is God deaf? Why are you clapping and shouting? The God that lives inside you, you are clapping and shouting to get his attention. He said, I'm a God at hand and not a God afar off. Do you know that God said he will hear even the things you think? Why will he hear what you're thinking? Because he's living inside. They give you all kinds of formula. Doctrines of men. You stick with the word of God. Don't let anybody use you for experiment. You're not a guinea pig. You're a son of God. Ilebadaga.